Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Friday, November 11th and this trade was shared by MH who is trading DAX futures CFD and here you see a trade that was taken a uh, long position and you see one minute chart which is the st structural chart and you see a breakout happened and reversal and I started uh, a new uptrend channel here and you see here the area that swing high and swing lows are connected and this is beginning of um, uptrend and accelerating the momentum you see the entry points here after the pullback got completed so i'll go one to five is correct and the stop loss is correct and he reached and closed first profit here on the other side of dynamic resistance close to the resistance area and the second position was also closed here with profit so thank you mh for sharing your trades with us the next trade was shared by Castro, our global instructor who's trading Nasdaq CFT. You see the structural channel here and you see the trading chart channel within that. And both are in uptrend. So I'll go one to three past. You see here the pullback got completed. And at this point with the proper entry based on algo four and five with tight stop loss here, he entered the trade and he's trailing that profit now. He has a target on the other side of uh, dynamic channel, which is the resistance line, and he's trailing now. And we see what happened to his trade. And if this break, he exits with significant amount of profit, and that happened. So thank you, Castro, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Yan, or global instructor, trading micro NASDAQ futures. As you see, the macro is in sideway and range expanding, so volatility is high. And we see here that the structural broke here up, but is still retesting another level of static and dynamic resistance. So that provides opportunity for some quick sell short. And we see what happened to his trades. The sellers here are back. You can see TIC NYSC is ticking down. And that provides opportunity to re-enter repeatedly short positions and take every pullbacks. And we see here's more sellers, so every pullback is an opportunity to re-enter when the algo four and five is suitable. And the ATM and himself is managing the trades proactively. And these are five second charts. So this pullback got completed and breakout happened. So it's taking long position now because the trading and the structural charts are aligned in uptrend. So all of this worked very well. So thank you, Jan, for sharing your trades with us. These are some of my trades trading S&P 500 futures. And you see the beginning of the market. There was an uptrend channel forming in both trading and structural chart. So I took here position and then it couldn't hold and reversed sharply. So the volatility increased and the channel broke. So I didn't take any further position because the volatility filter applies here and prevent us to enter when the pullback is deep and market gets into the high volatile sideways channel like this. And then I came back at the end of trading session and here I've just closed a big runner and because market reached an area that the buyer couldn't hold it and reverse, I took short positions in the middle of the channel and that was enough trades for the day. So thanks for your attention and hope these trades are useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and weekend.